Hello there, so let's firstly ignore these things sticking out from the side of my head. They won't lie flat. They don't want to know. Let's ignore that and talk about crayons. The fascinating invention of crayons. Crayola obviously is known well for mostly their crayons, which is great, but they recently came out with a product called a crayon melter. And apparently what you do with this is you stick a crayon in the end of it and you melt it and you can make art with it and pictures and stuff like that. It's for eight and older, so go me. And it just says make melted crayon art. I mean, it doesn't give me much hope with how it looks on the front. Can you see how globby that looks? Like, it looks really bad, but I mean, maybe that's a good thing. But that's what we're gonna do today. I bought a 120 piece set of crayons just because I've never had one and it stinks of crayon. And yeah, I think it's about time that we get started. Wish me luck and that's about it. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so here we go. We have a ginormous box of crayons and I can smell them already. I don't know about you. Uh, the smell of childhood. The proper crayon, Crayola crayons that we all wanted, not the rubbish rose art ones. Rose art. Rose art. Ro- oh no. <coughs> so, what are we gonna be doing with these crayons today? Well, we're going to be melting them and making art. It's for eight and older, so we should be fine. Uh, and I'll first figure out how to open this box. Knife works. And that is a waste of resources. 50% of the box is empty. That's pretty shameful, to be honest, Crayola. So we've got a plug, a plastic tape dispenser looking thing, and the crayon melter pen tool plastic nozzle device. So that is that. Oh, and I nearly forgot this weird plastic thing, which seems quite dangerous, so I should, you know, probably put it down. And generously, they included eight crayons. They gave me some templates, here's Fred the fish, but I won't be using little Fred so he can get off in the corner. Got out the instructions and realised this weird dangerous plastic device was actually a crayon wrapper remover, so hopefully that works. Now we're supposed to have an adult plug it in, but there isn't one around, so I'm just gonna have to do it myself today. Right, so now I've not set fire to anything, I've plugged in the crayon melter pen tool plastic nozzle device and the red light shows that it's on. I thought it was about time to open these beauties and uh, Bit of a letdown. I wasn't really expecting it to look like that, but oh, here's this guy again. He's, uh, he's lost his head. So the instructions say to break the crayons apart and put them into this hole. The crayon melter pen tool plastic nozzle device works kind of like a human. You put food in one end and it comes out the other in like a form of liquid. I tried to do these basic lines, which was pretty easy. I couldn't actually keep it on the lines, but you know, I tried. I then spent agonizingly too long making these dots. Any day now, Chloe. Any, okay, she, okay, she's done. Now, as you can see, it was pretty cool. It wasn't thick or globby and it went on quite smoothly, except for the circles, which you could just kind of just peel straight off the paper. Now, a bit inconveniently, you have to wait for the current color of crayon to run out before you're able to use another. So if you're like me and you put way too much crayon in there, you waste a lot. So I decided to replicate Starry Night with the crayons because I knew that it would give it that beautiful 3D texture the painting has and I just really hoped it would work because in my mind there was no way I could make any form of decent art with this thing uh, when you have such little control over anything. So I started off with a pale blue crayon and thought, hmm, this is going to take a while. Line by line by line by line until you needed to shed the skin of another crayon and start over. It was a somewhat tedious task. I had to figure out how much crayon was enough crayon. The breaking of the crayon, however, was both satisfying and painful as my inner child just watched in horror. Instead of waiting for one color to run out, I simply just put the next color in and kept doing a million more lines until the next color started seeping out because I'm both impatient and didn't want to waste crayons. So that's what I did. I will say this is probably the least messy way of making art. Like for once in my life, I didn't finish making it and have blue all up my arms and hands. So messiness wise, it was good. Unless you account for the hundreds of broken bits of crayons and wrappers you can't see off camera. So there's that. It was quite difficult to control the flow of the crayon melter pen tool plastic nozzle device. One minute it came out really watery, the next it came out in big globs. Uh, I'm wondering if part of it had to do with maybe how much crayon I broke in there in the little chamber hole. Who knows? It gradually got more and more clumpy in 3D, which was great because it was replicating a textured oil painting. I really hope Van Gogh, or Van Gogh, however you pronounce it, would be proud, but probably not. He'd probably more than likely just be insulted that I'd replicated his masterpiece shoddily with melted crayons. I regretted choosing to make this for about 70% of the time. Doing it line by line 
was not the easiest task in the world. The shedding of the crayon coat was a bit of a pain as well, but overall it was fun. The wire was actually a huge pain because it kept getting in the way. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just because I had it at a funny angle or what it was, but it just, it kept getting in the way. You also have to keep wiping the end of the nozzle because it kind of gets covered in melted wax crayon, especially the way I was using it. I was just like really scraping it against the crayon on the paper. So definitely keep a tissue handy. I did find after an hour of doing this that it was literally impossible for me to do any of the more detailed little towns and houses at the bottom. It was also impossible once I'd put the crayon on a section to probably layer another colour straight on top of it or against it. So there was no way to get a nice solid line of colour. It's almost like doing digital art without the pen pressure, so you're just dealing with a one solid line thickness until the pen decides to spit out a thick glob, or you put something where you didn't want it and then you've just messed up the whole thing. Uh, so that's a pain. But hey, it was a learning experience. I won't use it again, but I definitely had fun. It's the type of thing I would have asked for as a kid at uh, Christmas and just spent 10 minutes using, making Fred the Fish and just get bored after a while and forget I had it. I regretted choosing to make this for about 70% of the time, you know, doing it line by line was not the easiest task in the world. The shedding of the crayon coat was a bit of a pain as well, but overall it was fun. Bit tedious, but fun, and I was determined to make something of it, so I kept going. Let us take a moment to appreciate these lovely globby glob line globs that we've made here. It's a beautiful display of artwork uh, in this modern age. Lovely and textured and lovely. So I added as much variation as I could. Blue, slightly less blue, darker blue, the same blue I'd initially used already but didn't realise I'd already used, hence resulting in too much of the same colour blue. Yellow, black. Slowly but surely it looks more like Starry Night. I'm actually surprised. You know, a really cheap, cheaply made, melted crayon looking version of the real thing. Hey, there we go. You know, it was fun. Don't really know what else to say, so here's some footage of me struggling to make this and deciding if it was a good idea or not, so uh, enjoy this. fun, it looks 3D, it scrapes off with your fingernail, but hey, what more, what, what more could you want? So here it is, the final piece. What do you think? Would you try out the crayon melter plastic pen tool nozzle device? Let me know in the comments down below if you would. So uh, yes, thank you so incredibly much for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed the video. Get out your box of crayons, let out your inner child and just have fun. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. Bye.